This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV. I'm at the Sony booth at CES 2011. I'm joined by John Wyckoff, Technical Product Planning Manager. You see, I got it. I said yeah. I would get it. Perfect. Welcome to the program, John. Thanks so much. Glad to be here. Glad you're here. Now, I take it you're, you're enjoying CES 2011. I gather that Sony continues its commitment to, to stereoscopic 3D content. Maybe you could elaborate a bit as to what Sony's plans are for 3D HDTVs in 2011. Absolutely. We're so excited about 3D. We introduced 27 new models this year. Over half of those are 3D capable. So we're, get, we're bringing the 3D affordability down almost all the way through the whole product line now. Now, maybe, uh, can you elaborate a little bit on the televisions themselves? Ha has the hardware or the technology changed somewhat since the, the previous round of televisions put out by Sony? Well, the best thing that we've done to improve the uh, picture is to pr improve the picture quality. We've improved the processor behind the image itself, so we're able to get the best 2D image possible that there is. That allows us to give us the best 3D image. Excellent. Now, um, some of the challenges behind stereoscopic 3D tends to be like a, a you know a little bit of a darker image when wearing glasses, crosstalk, like a, a bleed through between the left and right image. Should it, are, are is there a market improvement in those areas? Like how how would you describe the improvements in the Sony line? Well, what Sony's done is we made a complete 3D system, and it starts with the panel in the in the LCD, and it goes through the emitter that feeds the sync to the actual active sync glasses that you got there in your hand. No problem. What Sony does is, um, once we get the uh, the left or the right eye image completely up on the screen, a sync signal goes out to the to the glasses. They're actually LCDs themselves. We tell the shutters in the LCDs and the glasses to completely wide open. So when they're their highest open aperture, we know exactly when that point in time is, and we can boost the backlight. The net effect is when you're sitting here in the screen that's looking at 3D without glasses, you can't tell what's going on. But when it's coordinated with the, with the maximum opening on the shutters on the glasses, we're boosting the backlight. The net effect to you as a user is you don't see that drop in darkness when you're playing 3D. So what I'm hearing is there's actually an extra step of synchronization, like a positive step. And the idea is that the, the lighting in the TV actually compensates by like flickering perhaps brighter in the alternate frames. Is exactly. That and a very easy way to see that is once you put a pair of Sony, gla Sony glasses on and they sync with your TV, only the slightest shade of difference in light transmission happens. It's even hard. if you're looking at someone who sinks in, you can't tell the glasses are on, which is why we have a little light on the side blinking to let you know that they really are on. Now, have you done, um, uh, as you know, our, our members are very big on, on gaming. I mean, they're huge uh, PlayStation 3 fans because, of course, PlayStation has taken big steps towards stereoscopic 3D gaming. Can you illustrate maybe or explain if, if the televisions have been modified at all to further benefit gaming on, on PlayStation? Well, it's interesting. You say modified, you could say we've really unmodified. Uh, Sony's all about picture quality, and our video processors, when we take video signal in, either poor quality, NTSC or even ATSC or even good high definition, we, we're so good at making a good picture, we can even improve that picture quality. Gaming, on the other hand, the producers know the quality imagery they want to make, and that's built into the disc, and the PS3 creates that already. So that actually saves us. We don't have to use that extra processing that we use on normal video to improve it because it's already been done in the PlayStation 3. So we turn all those circuits off. We have a special game mode that gives you the best 3D, the best real-time reaction, and the best 3D experience you can from a gaming system. Now, you mentioned, I think it was something like 60 models, I, don't, I didn't hear, or 60% of models. Yeah. How, how many total models are coming out in 2011? Well, we have 27 new models coming out, and we've got 17 with 3D capability. Now, are all your models based on LED backlighting or LCD televisions, or are you doing plasma? Which technologies is Sony supporting this year? Sony always supports LCD, but we do have two different types of backlighting systems. One is a CCFL in, in the entry-level line, but we also have LED that we have in number number of flavors, three actually, edge-lit, dynamic edge-lit, and full-array backlit. Are you doing anything with polarized glasses in it as well as active, or are you focusing on active in 2011? Um, because we're concentrating on full 1080p picture quality to each eye, that dictates that we stay with the active shutter system in the consumer area. 
we do on the pro side use some passive systems because when you're in a production truck and you have 15 or 20 different 3D models that have to work within a 15 or 20 foot radius, those can't interfere with each other. So in that environment, a professional production environment, that's when you really use the, the passive system. And then you do the final quality checks with a full high-res 1080p panel. Excellent. Now, one of the big challenges in 2010, several manufacturers, Sony included, have been extremely excited and committed to 3D. However, content in itself has has been a challenge. And you know, if you know, as a consumer, you're going to go to the store and you're going to make an investment in a TV, but you need confidence to know that there's going to be content there for them in 3D. Maybe you could elaborate a bit on some of the content coming down the pipe. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one of the easiest ways to get it is directly through, through Blu-ray Disc. I know the Blu-ray Disc Association at the end of, of uh, 2010, I think we had about maybe 8 or 10, possibly 11 3D discs that were available to the general public. They've already announced over 60 titles that will be available sometime in the next calendar year. So that's happening. There's also uh, ESPN just announced yesterday that on February the 14th of this year, they're going full 24-7, 52 weeks a year with unique content. They're just not putting up loops. It's all new stuff. So you got a full sports channel, uh, the Discovery Communications channel that Sony's working partner with will be up soon, and also in the Sony Video On Demand service, which 80% of our TVs can get, called Curiosity, that has the ability to stream uh, 3D movies, and we're doing that now. And of course, there's the gaming side as well. Always PS3. Excellent, excellent. Well, thanks for joining us, John. We've, we've been speaking with John Wyckoff from Sony. We'll actually be, more, we'll be delivering more from the Sony booth here at CES 2011. Please stand by. This is Neil Schneider for MTBS-TV. Thanks for watching.